So last time, uh, Commissioner, I remember seeing you in public anyway, and I know there's been other times since then. I saw you at the Las Vegas City Council meeting. This is some time ago now. And you were discussing with Mayor Goodman and others about working in collaboration with coronavirus and getting unified and, and things along those lines, getting businesses open. A lot's changed since then. How would you characterize how Clark County and the cities in the county are working together now to try and get our, the hand on the pandemic? Uh, you know, we're working really well together. Um, that's why we're rolling out our testing uh, tomorrow at the Texas and additional strike teams that will go out and test within communities. So we've been working really well. We're doing a little bit over 5,000 inspections uh, a week across the valley. So we are, um, we've come a long ways in a short time. And I think that uh, we'll continue to work together because we're, we're gonna be in this for a while. You mentioned that and the latest numbers, you know, the cases are going up. We saw what Governor Sisolak said uh, about sort of the stay at home 2.0. How is the county going to be able to balance public health with apparently not closing more, not closing businesses again, certainly not the Las Vegas Strip? How are you going to be able to walk that balance and walk that fine line? So we've been walking that balance for a very long time and we have to look at public health first, but public health also is economic and social um, health and mental health. So we are, um, look, we have a bunch of great folks here in Clark County. They've really been stepping up and doing the extra efforts. Um, I get that people are COVID fatigue. I think we could all agree to that. But we're going into flu season now, and we really have to make sure that our behaviors are top notch. I mean, this is the time we always knew that as the uh, weather got colder, that we would see more cases um, because that's just naturally what happens to us during flu season. So what I would tell you is the best thing that we can all do to keep businesses open, to keep our community healthy, is to just pay extra special attention to washing your hands, wearing a face mask, and social distancing. And that, uh, and I'm confident that we value staying open. That we can do that um, in the next few weeks. Is it possible for Clark County to step in and close businesses on its own again? So, so we have. Um, so we have. Uh, we've been shutting down businesses that have not been complying, not trying to comply. Uh, for the last, I don't know, seven months. So we did have a small miscommunication of whose jurisdiction was what, uh, but I'll tell you that uh, all of the business licensing across the Valley, including OSHA, uh, Gaming Control Board, the Athletic Commission are all uh, meeting once a week and we're uh, looking at where our problems are. I guess I meant more broadly, if there was going to be, I remember the governor had the phases early on in the pandemic. Is it possible that Clark County could, on its own, if cases continue to increase and there's more of a public health concern, step in and shut down, let's say, bars or restaurants or close down uh, gyms and athletic facilities, things along those lines? We can always be more restrictive uh, than the governor's directive. Uh, we can also go to the mitigation task force and recommend some, some of those closures. But I can tell you, this has been very hard for everybody. You know, we have to balance people being able to pay their bills as well as businesses who are trying to stay afloat during these tough times. And so I'm just hoping that with the public health, that people will really, um, really pay attention. So, you know, some of the things that we're seeing are unregulated businesses that are creating the problem, you know? So whether it's a group of people getting on a bus and renting a house and partying all night with no face mask or whether it's a, your law firm that's hosting a luncheon um, with no social distancing, no face mask, no washing your hands. Th those are the things that I need people to pay attention to um, for the next three to four months, because it is our flu season, and we always have to make sure that our hospitals do not get overrun. 
Speaking of money, uh, you were discussing there, I saw something on the Clark County on the agenda for this coming week with regards to uh, coronavirus relief funding. And I think it was 290 or so million dollars that the county received. I might have the numbers a little bit wrong there, but the bottom line was, from what I could tell, it's referenced that there was unused money. Um, I, I guess, where has the money gone and who else in the county needs that financial assistance right now? So we do have a large uh, uh, pot of money set aside for um, folks that are in jeopardy of being evicted uh, because we want to try and help pay that so we can stabilize them and keep them in a location. So we are working through those. Those dollars go quickly. Uh, this is really is just an update to see where the money has gone. Uh, regionally, we all set aside money for our, our surge capacity. Uh, that is why we rolled out free testing for everybody so that everybody can come get. So that's a little over $12 million. Uh, we still have supplies and those things to do. So I'm confident that I won't be giving a check back because there are so many needs that um, we're even stepping up efforts to help some of these other businesses that are just uh, not able to stay uh, caught up on their bills th through this time. I guess the question would just be if a community the size of Clark County has unused funds, if there's a need to ask for more federal assistance, for example, if, if the money that's already been dished out hasn't all been used, do you need, would there be a need for more? Well, and here's what I would tell you, it's apples and oranges because the dollars that we got today were specifically to filling the needs of a community uh, during these times. But for local government in particular and state government, there's a lost revenue component because this money has to be expended by December 30th. So we know that January 1st, there's gonna be tons of evictions that are on the, uh, Shopping block. We know that uh, coronavirus, we're still going to be in the middle of it until we can get the vaccine here. Uh, so we're still going to have needs. And with that lost revenue on the local and state level, we, we still have to provide service. So when times are bad, we provide lots of service. When times are good, we still have to provide service. And the legislative session won't be easy either funding wise uh, down the pipe. No, and we get a large um, portion of our social service dollars from the state. So we are watching that very closely because we still have to provide all those services. Final question, um, you won re-election, obviously. Congratulations to you. Um, there is a bit of a, a changing face on the boards. Some of the people on the commission have termed out. Um, how has the election or will the election alter uh, how the body moves forward? Oh, no, absolutely not. I mean, uh, we think that we have a strategic plan that we put in place uh, last year. So we're still in the middle of that strategic plan. And it, it's going to be a lot of catch up um, for anybody new that comes to the county. There's 38 departments, there's thousands of employees. Uh, so there's lots of things. So we'll work, we have training in place kind of give them an overbrief of what's going on and they'll have their own ideas and we'll embrace them and uh, uh, continue to move our county forward. But right now, public health is our biggest component of the county, uh, but we have been keeping some of our other things going um, along the way and we, we have to be able to do both. Finally, finally, um, I want to readdress what's something I'm asked at the very beginning with regards to the county and the city of Las Vegas. At the beginning of the pandemic, you remember some of the uh, conversations that were uh, had by uh, Mayor Goodman and some of the uh, opinions of those at City Hall didn't seem necessarily in line with Clark County. And I think it seemed like there was an effort to try and address that um, you know, months ago. How would you characterize the relationship now between Clark County and City Hall specific to COVID response? So here's what I would tell you. We've come light years in just eight months. Uh, everybody is working very closely together, the cities in general. Um, the mayor and I speak on a regular basis. You know, she was one of the first entities to call me regarding election safety. What could she do to help? And so I think that this has brought us closer. We're like brothers and sisters in this valley. 
we can get mad at each other, but we don't hold it because we know that we have a responsibility as leaders to move our county forward. And that is something that makes Nevada special. 